Here's a single proof by induction exam question. This one about a recurrence relation. It's given us the solution to this recurrence relation and it's asking us to prove that it's a legitimate solution. Before I do it, as usual, make sure you've given it a go yourself. And as with all proof by induction questions, really be clear with your layout and write that little conclusion at the end. Right, my turn. I'm going to jump in. As usual, base case to start with, where is n going to be 1 or 0? Um, positive, so n is going to be 1. Let's plug that in. Well, we have that u1 is 8, and the formula gives us 4 to the 1, add 3 times 1, add 1, so that's 4 add 3, Add 1 is 8. Fantastic. So the formula is true for n equals 1. Next, what is my assumption? I'm going to assume true for n equals k for some integer k. So what am I assuming? I'm assuming that uk is this. I'm just writing it out again with a K in there, but it's important for my logic. Inductive step. So this is the next one. This is K plus one. What is UK plus one? Well, I'm not allowed to, I'm not going to jump straight to this because we're not assuming it for k plus 1. This is the thing that we're trying to prove. We need to use what's given to us. It is this. This is the thing that we know for certain. Fab, don't be tempted to use this straight off. This is the thing we're trying to prove. We're just using this. But now we can use our assumption because we can plug this into here. Let's do that. So that's four lots of this minus 9k. And then let's simplify this up. Well, straight away, we've got the four times the four to the k. So four to the k plus one plus 12k plus four minus 9k, I want to fiddle this to make it look more like that. So, oh, I forgot to put right, I forgot to write my k there. Uh, 12k minus 9k is 3k. But this plus 4, I want this plus 1 floating out the end, so I'm going to write that plus 4 as plus 3 plus 1. And then that will enable me to see that this is this, which is exactly what we want. That's this with a k plus one in, fantastic. So that's true for n equals k plus one. Fantastic. Then dot, 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 the conclusion that we always write. Induction There we go. I think the trickiest bit there was knowing what to use here. If this is the claim, don't just plug K, into, K plus 1 into here and assume that it's true. We need to use the things that are given to us and we're allowed, to assume, we're allowed to use the thing that we've assumed and we're trying to get to this. Well done if you managed all that yourself.